All right, so I'm going to show you how to um, hack a charger so that um, it'll charge a lot quicker with your Android phone. Um, all we're using is this small little bullet charger. You can buy it at Walmart for like seven bucks. I'll put a link down in the description of where you can get it online even cheaper. So what a lot of people might not know, um, when you plug in, well, a lot of people realize when you plug in your Android um, char phone to your charger at home in the wall outlet, it charges so much quicker and then you get out to your car and you plug it in and it doesn't really charge very fast. Um, the biggest problem with that is, <clears throat> and the reason why it does it, is because the wall chargers, they don't use the data part of the USB, they just use the power. So it allows them to extract the most amount of power it possibly can out of the charger. However, the chargers, they leave all four pins open and the two data pins on the USB make the phone think it's hooked up to a computer so it doesn't draw as much power because it doesn't want to damage it. So all we're going to do is we're going to correct that problem. Real simple to do. Um, takes a couple minutes, but it's definitely worth it. Alright, so we'll get started. Here's the charger right here. Alright. Let's put it up to the camera. So you can see it. Just a basic bullet type charger. So first you want to peel the sticker right off of this. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Once you peel it off, you'll notice that there's two screws in there. All right, you wanna go ahead and remove the two screws. Also remove the bottom here, it just twists right off. Okay, there's a little spring in there. You wanna make sure you remove the spring, put it to the side, don't lose it. These are very small screws, so use a screwdriver that is an appropriate size. I'll show you a picture too. I took a screenshot of when I was charging it in the wall and then when I was charging it out of my car using this charger and you can see it's significantly lower. So it just usually pulls apart really easy just like that. Set that aside, keep the front off, set that aside, and this pulls right out. So in here, what you have is right here, this is what we're looking at. These four little pins here are for the USB. What those do is the two outer ones are the positive and negative for power, and the two inner ones here are for the data. Since our phone doesn't use data when it's coming out of the wall, we're going to short that out. You can do this two ways. The way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to solder the two connections together. Just a tiny piece of solder right there to bridge the gap. Or, if you look inside, some people like to do it this way. When you look inside, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's four, there's four little gold things right, right in there. USB there. If you take a piece of copper wire and wrap it around the two middle ones and then tuck it inside, it'll do the same thing. This to me is a lot easier. Okay, so oh, hold on. So just again, I'll let the camera focus so you can see what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be shorting out the two middle ones right there. <clears throat> I already got my solder heated up. My trusty solder right here. My soldering iron heating up, I should say.
soldiers of the United States, welcome to Abu Ghraib. You have to be aggressive. I've got to know this guy. Whatever he's in here for, I can tell you what he did not do. It's not your job to think you follow orders. <laughs> Now I can look. Got a nice clean shot over there. Let's see if you can see that. Stamp camera is really hard to focus. But if you can see that big blob right there, we soldered the two middle pins together. That's all we did. Took a nice piece of solder and soldered it right together. Now, all we gotta do is put it back together the same way we took it apart and then I'll also show you another screenshot of me using it <clears throat> of me using it now and what the uh, MAH is now pretty straightforward when you put it back together make sure that you fold in the little metal tabs here they're supposed to be folded in so that we get that little bit of spring action. This is probably the most annoying part about the whole thing. Trying to put everything back together. It's made of plastic too, so. Don't force it, don't be excessively rough with it, it'll go back together. <clears throat> don't forget your spring. There's no fuse for this one. It's a cheap charger. And then you can put the faceplate back on for decoration. That's really all it is, decoration. Don't tighten these excessively, otherwise it's going to strip. It's just the plastic. Again, it's just for design, so it's not, it doesn't really have to be super tight. You could argue it gives it a little bit of stability, but and it helps it to stay closed, but I don't think so. I think it's just for design. Now, if you want, you can put the dumb little stickers back on. I am not going to put the stickers back on. We are all done.